So I get this wallet in the mail. Actually, they hit me up email and said, hey, you want to check this wallet out? And I was like, yeah. So they sent it to me. And so it's brown. It smells good. It fits in the pocket nice. And that's basically the end of the review. So like, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. And, uh, oh, if you haven't hit the thumbs up, do that because that really helps. And, uh, or don't. Anyway, so that's it, guys. See you later. Peace. I'm just playing. I'm just kidding. You know, I have to do a joke. Anyway, I'm just kidding, guys. I'm back. So, here's what it is. This is, the first part of that story was true, but this is the Popov leather wallet from Popov in Canada. Um, they make these wallets, and they're super sick, so we're going to um, dive into it on the door desk here. That's what I'm calling it now, the door desk, because it was a door. Now it's a desk. Get it? Um, so yeah, that's, that's what we're gonna do. So exciting. Actually, it's a really cool wallet, and it's actually got some pretty cool talking points. Um, so quick disclosure, they sent it to me for free, blah, blah, blah. Um, if there's a way for me to show you guys free, or if there's a way for me to show you guys cool stuff, and I don't have to pay for it, because it does cost money to do this stuff, um, then I'm gonna do it. Especially if it's cool and I like it. If it sucks and I don't like it, then... You won't see it ever. <laughs> anyway, um, at the end of the video, we're going to also do a little bit of the EDC. I'm going to show you guys what I'm carrying on me and then also what the outfit is because everybody always puts in the comments, what watch is that? What, what shirt is that? What uh, boots are you wearing? What jeans are they? Anything else you want me to add? Probably you can put in the comments because I'll miss it. But let's talk about this. Um, so let's... This is the Popov leather wallet. It's made out of USA Horween uh, grain leather, and it's really high quality. If I'm not mistaken, this I know it's a five card wallet, but if I'm not mistaken, this is the um, the driftwood one. I'm not even sure what leather I got, guys. I forget. It could be yeah, it's got to be the driftwood, but it, it patinaed so well, and it's like so oily and nice. So I've been looking for leather wallet for a while. Some of you may know that. Heck, they might have even have known that. That's why they sent me the thing. But yeah, I've been looking for a good leather wallet for a little while. And, you know, they came across, so I got it. It's got so many little details that you really wouldn't pick up. Like when you go to, you know, I don't know, um, like Kmart or like JCPenney or Macy's. And you look at their leather wallets, they're... I don't have one to compare, but they just, they don't have this look to them where you're getting something high quality that's handmade, you know, nobody really is going to have this around, like it's a conversation piece, I pull this out, everybody always asks me about where I got this wallet, and that's cool because it's, I don't know, it's just a, one of those things where it's like neat to have, I mean, everybody has a wallet, every guy has a wallet, some, some of you guys might not like it because it's thicker. I had, like, because I was used to the VanQuest, and that one has, it's basically made out of Cordera, and it's very, you know, you barely feel it in your pocket. This you feel in the pocket, especially if you have cash. Um, I like to keep just a couple bills on the outside. I don't have any now. Um, but it does drastically change the way it feels in the pocket. I've actually been keeping it in my front pocket more than my back, um, especially because in Miss Maisel, who is my truck, for some of you that don't know, um, in the truck, it's the seats aren't that great, and you really feel this in the truck. So, um, you know, it took me a little bit of getting used to, but overall, I'm really happy with it as soon as I pulled out of the box. And the one thing about it that I picked up right away is how worn in it was as far as, like, this goes, like, opening it, and it was just, this, this is pretty much how it was when I when it came out of the box and you know that's awesome to me because it gives it character you know what I mean and all these little marks obviously are from me carrying it just for the short amount of time I've had it for like three weeks and it just really patine it up well and all this stuff will come out I think if you like rub it or or whatever it's very oily and, and soft like the leather is so freaking soft it's insane so I got in here just my driver's license and my um carrying permit my concealed carry or actually my con my carrying permit it's not concealed it's just whatever 
it's a carrying permit. And then, you know, some Mac cards, CVS cards, stuff like that. And I always keep a set of lock picks in there. I'm not going to take them out because I'll forget which one I put them in. The one thing that's really cool about this wallet, and you can see how marked up it gets, you know. But anyway, the one thing that I thought was really neat is most of these wallets, they these these sleeves go all the way to the bottom and it builds up a lot and you can't have the cards in there the all the cards go all the way to the bottom of this because of this little you know the flap doesn't go all the way down so you're not losing any material that's just a really really cool feature that i thought was awesome actually and it works really well because what that does is all the cards fit in here evenly and nice and it just it just causes it's nice. It's nice to have. Um, you can hear the titanium lock picks. I was really skeptical to whether I was going to be able to even keep these in here. I have to have lock picks on me, like all always. I use them a lot at work and different things. Um, and it's just, I like to have them. So I wasn't sure if they were going to work out in there, but they do. So bang. Um, one thing that, like, you see people like them Travex wallets and like not to compare wallets or whatever. You like what you like. But like I just don't understand how people can carry those metal wallets. Like this is – like having a thick piece of real leather like this is already like okay, you know. But like you can feel like just how high quality this leather is. Um, it says on their website that the edges are polished. I guess that's what that means. It's nice and, you know, rounded and, you know, you're not getting any sharp edges. Everything's really – just nice, and I I think this is some kind of stitching. I'm not sure. I'm not, I don't know about like threads. It's it's a really nice thread. Maybe it's like tiger thread. I think it's called. I could be wrong about that, but it's really like thick. I don't know if the camera's gonna get in on that, but it's really nice thread, and it's it it's just this wallet is not going to wear out. You know, you're not gonna look at this thing in ten years and be like, oh, this is garbage. I need a new wallet. This is something you're going to keep for like, God, man, this thing might last 50 years, you know, depending on, you know, if you just like to buy stuff for no reason. I tend to, one thing I tend to not spend money on a lot is wallets. Like I had that VanQuest wallet for like four years. I loved it. It has the RDIF blocker. This doesn't, um, honestly, the RDIF blocker, it's kind of pointless for me. I get they can take your information or whatever, but I, my bank account, as soon as something happens, like anything, like it gets in one of those machines or something like that, or, you know, somebody scans it or whatever, they red flag that bad boy. I get an email instantly, like everything shuts down, you know, until they call me and figure out, like, you know, what's going on or these trends. Like, so anymore, I, I mean, I guess it's, there's a use for it. There's other reasons to have the RDIF blocker too, you know, for personal information or whatever, but I don't know. Um, I just didn't feel like it was being used, utilized, so, but I do kind of like it, so maybe if, the one thing that I do wish if they could make some kind of RDIF blocking kind of wallet would be right up my alley. Um, as far as the five cards go, I don't, I don't really know, they have all different kind, they have the regular traditional biofolds, they have, like, the ones that are just, like, single, like this, and that's all it is, it's just this flap with the, the card, um, and I think there might be stuff, something on the back or whatever, but, um, this is generally what I like that. I just like a small EDC little wallet. And you know, what's really cool about this too, is it slip, it slides out of your pocket very easily. And I like that a lot. Like the VanQuest one would kind of get jammed up in there. It's court error. You know, I'm always wearing jeans that are tight or skinny jeans. Um, so, you know, they're like, it's like a pain in the butt to get them out. So this is the pop of leather wallet. I don't know. It's 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 a wallet, guys. How, how much can I really tell you about it? It's super freaking badass, awesome. It smells so good. It's soft. It's leathery. You know, it's oily. You can you can show people it. You can I don't know. Not let your dog eat it. Um, it's a cool wallet. I like it. I'm enjoying it. So like I promised, I would show you guys what I'm. You know how I'm EDCing and what I'm wearing. So obviously this is part of that. And we'll switch the camera around and I'll show you some things. All right. So now the fun part of the video. A little bit of style. How to throw your everyday carry and make it a little bit more. I don't know. Not 
Batman, Indiana Jones-ish. You can still carry good quality gear and look good, and that's kind of like what I'm after with this these new uh, kind of type of videos I'm going to be doing. So, um, first off, in the wallet in the back, obviously the feature wallet for the video and the pop off leather wallet. This thing is so awesome, guys. I'm telling you, like, it's only like sixty, seventy dollar range for this model, but it's well worth every penny. I would totally buy this thing if they didn't send it to me. Um, like I said, there's all kinds of noises going on. But like I said, this uh, while it's very high quality leather, it's gonna last you a really long time. It looks good, it smells good, it fits in your pocket nicely, it holds what you need it to hold, and it does the job, so uh, I like it a lot. I'm really happy with it. And the wallet, it kind of matches like what I'm going for anyway, more like of a classy, leathery kind of look for this year. Um, not so tactical, but also I want it to be able to have what I need to have in it. And not just a wallet, that goes for everything. So I'm even thinking about switching my Glock holster to a leather. So anyway, um, let's just talk about that. So the Glock 43 is in the back here at the 430 position. And I keep the Glock 43 in a QVO holster, that's quick violent over, black multicam over carbon fiber Kydex holster for the Glock 43. Um, this thing is all tricked out or whatever, night sight, stipple grip, undercut, all that good stuff. And that's the holster here. So that's what I've been carrying for a firearm. And that's all I carry for a firearm. Pretty much every single day, no matter what, I have that. For a knife, I've been using still the Benchmade Bug Out. I like this pocket knife a lot. It's light, it's thin, it's small, it's not too big. It has a perfect kind of uh, really good steel, S30 steel, it's perfect shape. Axis lock, it's awesome. Uh, my dog chewed it, so I just kind of grinded it. But anyway, uh, don't ask has a deep carry clip, somebody's gonna ask. The dog got the knife, she bit the lanyard whole part of it off, but I love it so much that I just got rid of it. Um, I like this knife though, and it fits in my skinny jeans. Look, if you're not in the skinny jeans, wear your cargo pants, I don't care. They fit me, they look good, and you know, spare the comments on the skinny jeans. If you don't like skinny jeans, whatever man, don't wear them. We'll get into the outfit in a second though. But anyways, um, my phone, Galaxy Note 9 in a UAG case, super sick phone, I love it, can't wait for the Note 10 to come out, I'm buying it, it's the day it comes out probably. Uh, over here we have a titanium pocket pen, this is from Big Idea Design, awesome pen, pretty expensive, but I love it a lot because it's not like, here's, your, here's a James pen and um, a traditional size and it's just you know you don't need to have all that for an EDC pocket pen you know and it's just it sits right in that good sweet spot where you need to write still it's got this awesome grip it's lightweight awesome clip deep it fits in your pocket it doesn't ride out when you sit down get in the car it's not annoying it doesn't bother you so I've been carrying a pen all the time now I have a Olight S1 baton mini next to that and these are all in skinny jeans, by the way. And this is how I wear these jeans, basically. Now, if it's it's nighttime, I'm probably gonna be walking a dog. I probably won't. I probably would be carrying this, but during the daytime, I just rely on this and then whatever flashlights in my EDC bag, which is probably something badass. And so it's not in my pocket because usually this is something that's part of my EDC bag or like in my jacket pocket if I'm wearing a jacket it's still a little bit uh, cold out here in Philadelphia so I've been wearing a jean jacket a lot of times that's my go-to usually for spring and all through summer because it gets cold summer nights but anyway this is just a beard it's a bearded man it's just a beard comb that's all it is just shape up that uh, get that beard touched up a little bit that's all that's for um, so there's that over here we, we keep a hank this is from Mr. Maruk over in Poland, handmade in Poland. And uh, I like this one a lot because it's got like the little little peppers and little Day of the Dead theme going on there. Pretty awesome. Because it's becoming summertime, springtime, sun's out, gun's out. Um, just made that up real quick. 
Gotta have sunglasses. These are the Ray-Ban Clubmasters. Bang, bang. But you always have to have a beater pair, and these are the CVS brand. <laughs> and that's pretty much it for my everyday carry. Uh, other than, oh, the watch. Let's do the watch. So the watch is a G-Shock DW series um, watch. And this is the blacked out version. I like it a lot. It's got a soft band. It's really awesome. I love this watch. G-Shock. That's not the Atomic Solar version or nothing like that. It's just a regular battery battery powered watch. It's but it's really nice. And it's like about a hundred bucks, I think. It's probably one of the best watches you can ever get for that kind of for that price. So um, the wa the belt is a Travex cinch. It's always been a Travex cinch. It probably always will be a Travex cinch. They are probably the best belts ever made. I love them. They're so lightweight and thin and they're stylish. I like them. Bang. The shirt. Everybody's going to ask about the shirt. This is from Bed Monday. Uh, the back of it features a dog getting spots tattooed on him that says, quit bitching because you should quit bitching about what kind of jeans I'm wearing. For the boots, oh, we are rocking a pair of Thursday boots handmade in New York City. Yeah, they're badass. They're so badass. They look good with just about anything. They're the perfect spring boot. Um, check out Thursday boots. They're awesome. And that's just leather. Awesome. Leather, 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 leather. Ah. They don't smell. They, they don't stink. They just smell like high quality leather. They may smell a little bit. Jean jacket. This is a from Forever 21. Jean jacket. Uh, it is a must for springtime. It's like a god, dudes. You have to get a jean jacket for the spring. I mean, every man should own a jean jacket. It's, it's the perfect ex thing for, especially like black skinny <laughs> jeans and this white shirt. This little get up. It just looks good. I think. All right, everyone. That's gonna wrap this video up. I hope you all enjoy the new kind of style I was kind of go for. Um, the wallet is absolutely awesome. So I will leave the pop of company's uh, link below for their, so you can go check out their wallets. I would highly recommend if you're in the market for a new wallet that look no further and check these guys out. So, um, and yeah, the EDC and everything else. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate the thumbs ups and the, and the comments and the likes. And if you're new here, welcome. There's all kinds of videos for everyone here. There's dog training videos, which are super popular. Um, and there's just there's everything. I can't even think off the top of my head right now of how many different videos I have out there. But um, this is something I, I like to do a lot is to kind of incorporate everyday carry stuff and, and being prepared and being a, a kind of guy that can protect people and help others learn and grow and learn about different tools and different styles and whatever and we're all here for each other so leave in the comments if you have any ideas uh, different styles that you want me to try to incorporate no, I'm not talking about like tact I'm talking about like going downtown maybe spring stuff summer stuff there's all kinds of different styles you can do and without looking like Batman or Indiana Jones. You guys know what I'm talking about. I'm not trying to rag on anybody that does that. I'm just saying if you're into maybe more like a fashion sense of a type of deal, you can do that and still carry a Glock and still carry a flashlight. You can still carry a pen. You can still carry a pocket knife. You don't have to just like be some, you know, fashion dude that doesn't know anything about nothing. So you can still do that and um, that's kind of what I'm going for here. So I hope you guys enjoy that and uh you know like i said the leather wallet it's awesome and i thought it was the perfect time to make a video like this because it's such a stylish item that you know it makes sense so anyway i'll see you guys in the next one um and that's it peace that's really it this time <laughs> later guys